Hello, my name is Codemaster Jamal and today I just wanted to do a quick devlog for this month as it might be the last video I upload for the rest of the year. This video might be a little less quality than usual but this is the quickest way to keep you up to date on the latest news. Anyhow, last time we left off I had just recently created the Dark Rift game console and I had written the code that instances the player into the next scene. Well, the thing is is that this test scene was just a test world I created with no networking features. Now that I'm building a server, I need to remake all of the features from the original game to work with the server. The point is, this week I got into instancing the player and creating multiplayer synchronization. It's kind of crazy and I honestly don't believe I actually did this but I managed to complete a full scale version of the server architecture I mentioned in a previous devlog. Yes this game has multiple servers which act as different rooms that a player can travel or interact with. I decided that I will expand on the server architecture by giving the server the ability to create and delete rooms when there aren't any active players inside of them. Of course the real world and virtual world maps will always be available for players to join but other maps such as battle scenes and the insides of buildings won't be permanent and will only be created when there are actual players using them. I'm hoping this will make gameplay smoother for players and will put less stress on the server. Now some of the problems I faced was that it was actually hard for me to get the players to move properly. You see, I actually built the netcode for this game based around a tutorial that I found on GitHub. Everything I have done for the server at this part was completely on my own. However, I did borrow or should I say copy and pasted some of the code from the tutorial into my project. Of course, I had to modify the code severely before I could get it to work with my own. And the tutorial is based around using Unity's character controller. And as many of you guys know, I'm using Unity's NavMesh system for movement, so I had to rewrite a decent amount of code before I could get it to work. Not to mention, I have a feature in my game where you can switch between being a tamer and a monster, so I needed the server to be able to accommodate with the code and features I already created for the game. And this is why it took me 4 days to get this right. I mean, this was some serious stuff. I got the player to spawn on the server first, right? Then the player wasn't spawning on the client. Then I got the player to spawn on the server and the client, but the player wasn't moving. Then, I got the player to move on the server, but not the client. It literally kept going on like this for about 4 days. I checked to see what the input from the client was returning, and it was returning a zero. The way how Unity's NavMesh system works is that you can move the character by accessing the NavMesh agent's move function. Inside of this move function, you need to pass in a vector 3. This vector 3 determines how the player is going to move. I multiply the player's input by other variables in order to get this vector 3. Of course, if you multiply anything by 0, the result is going to be 0, which is why my player was not able to move. I corrected some things in the client, and then corrected some things in the server, and the player still wasn't moving. Like damn, really? Is making the MMORPG this hard? I'm over here like, crying like, rivers and like, tears of like, mountains and it's just... <sighs> I digress. Anyhow, I looked back at the code one more time and saw that I was sending another value that was returning zero, which is the player's move speed. And like I said before, if you multiply anything by zero, the result will be zero. Kind of some simple elementary math for anyone trying to keep up with all the network mumbo jumbo. So I corrected this along with a smaller error for actually spawning the player on each client. And I think you guys know how the rest goes. But the point being is that this was really, really, really really hard to pull off but i never quit and i never back down of course i still have a long way to go but for the most part a majority of the parts are done at this point i just need to spend some time finishing features and then polish my game before i can release it on the market and in case you guys didn't know i'm going to be releasing my game on my own site here you will need to register and validate an account before purchasing the game to download i plan on putting up a few free games here or there just to get some site traffic so stay tuned for that now that I've managed to get my game this far, I plan on making quite a few different multiplayer games that I have been planning for a while now. I want to give a shout out to everyone that helped me in the Dark Rift Networking Discord. This includes Almiron, who is the original author of the tutorial. Well, I guess that'll be it for now. If you enjoyed watching the video, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button for more virtual monsters and other game development content. Keep making games. Till next time, this is Codemaster Jamal, and I'm signing out.